guys, Twisted Maxi here. This is just going to be a really quick video on mod organization. There's plenty of videos out there on it, but since Better Exceptions 2.0 just dropped, I figured I should go over this as well. Frequently, my Discord as well as the MC Command Center Discord see players bringing in reports that show their mods folder looking something like this. Folders with random numbers for their names, duplicates of such folders, or sometimes no folders at all, everything's just shoved into the mod root which is never a good idea. There should be zero reason to have a .ts4 script or a .package file directly in your mods. Everything should be folders on the root level. You might say, well, if the game loads it, what's it matter how it's organized? Sure, everything is fine while it works. But let's say you get an error and ask for support. The support team tells you it's definitely a custom create a sim shirt that's causing the issue, but they can't tell which one. If your mods folder looks like this, you probably won't know where to start. Uh, 500 some files is a lot to look through. Needle in a haystack, polar bear in a snowstorm, all that. But let's take a look at how organization could have helped here. You can see we have broken it out into three main categories. Build by, create a sim, and scripts. Since we all know our problem is in CAS and it's a shirt CC, we can go into that CAS folder, go into tops, and just like that, we now have about 25 files to hunt through instead of 500. Even better, since we have them divided by creator, we'll know exactly where to look for updates once we find the problematic mod. This isn't the point of the video, so I'm only going to briefly cover it, but at this point you would do a 50-50 with just that folder. So take half of your CC out of the tops folder and put it somewhere outside of your mods, load the game, and see if it removed the bad item. If it did, then you know there's something in the half that you took out. Put half of that back in and try again. Repeat until you've narrowed it down to a single creator, and then either continue to narrow it down to a single file by that creator, or just check for updates or remove all the items from that creator. Needless to say, it's much quicker to do this with a specific, smaller folder than it is with your entire mods folder. Alright, so let's focus on the structure so you can start organizing. Our root folder covers CAS, build by, and common script mods. I put an exclamation in front so that these folders stay at the top. CAS and build by are, of course, create a sim and build by objects, respectively. And inside, you'll see both have their structure broken out by type of object and then by creator, as we just discussed. Then you have the tuning mods. These are any dot package mod that overrides or adds to the actual gameplay. For example, a mod that changes the price of bills, or that changes what days to go to work for a certain job. If it's a gameplay mod that doesn't come with a TS4 script file, you should organize it here. Again, we can break these into creator folders, and uh, personally, I've broken this one into multiple aspects of the game, such as careers, events, traits, aspirations. Then I have the creator folders inside those. But let's talk about the common script mods folder. Script mods cannot be more than one folder deep in your mods folder. Anything deeper and the game will not load them, so it makes organization a bit more difficult. That's why we've put the creator names in the root folder instead of a subfolder. These are meant for things like Little Miss Sam's mods where there might be a bunch of smaller script mods that don't need their own folder structure, but we still want to keep them grouped. This should let you narrow down any script issues when the time comes. Speaking of scripts, TS4 script files can technically be unzipped and have the options to do so, so be sure to never accidentally unzip a TS4 script. It should remain as a single .ts4 script file when installed properly. Then there's a final category, which I refer to as multi-part mods. Think of these as big mods that require their own install instructions and their own folder. MC Command Center or Better Build By are two examples. These mods should be directly installed to the mods directory using the exact instructions provided by their mod creator. Unfortunately, you can't slide these into other subfolders because of that one folder rule we talked about with script mods. There's a common mistake made when unzipping mods that can quickly turn a working mod into a broken one. Most mod downloads come in a .zip file, which is fine. However, many zip programs come with two options, extract here and extract to zip name. If you choose the extract to zip name option and the zip already contained a folder for the mod, you've now installed the mod two folders deep. If it's a script mod, then you know where we're going with this. The script mod is buried too deep and won't be read by the game. 
In general, I recommend you double click the zip file and use the drag and drop function to install the mods instead. Again, remember to follow the creator's exact instructions if provided. This also brings us to the next mistake, specifically for Mac users. Mac automatically unzips .zip files when you download them, so in that case, the files you end up downloading are the actual mod files or the mod folder that was inside the zip. As such, be sure to adjust and not accidentally unzip the actual TS4 script when following the install instructions. Additionally, you can see that I have the actual downloads in my mods folder. No one should do this, as sometimes it's possible for the game to read the mod from both where you installed it and from the original download. So be sure to save your downloads somewhere outside your mods folder and then install them. I also want to take a moment to talk about a few mod user sins that frequently lead to last exceptions. The first is called merged mods. There's a long-standing myth that merging all of your mods into a single file improves game efficiency. This is absolutely false on modern hardware, and any difference on older hardware was indiscernible and basically non-existent. Something using merge files does do, though, is make it much more likely that a mod will break, and also make it incredibly difficult for you to locate which one it was. That package tracking feature that I mentioned in my Better Exceptions video, if you have all of your mods shoved into a single merge.package, then the best BE can tell you is, yep, it's one of the 500 mods you have in merge.package. What does help is turning off your in-game mods list if you haven't already. Loading this list significantly increases startup time for the game, so anyone using more than a few mods should go ahead and turn it off. You can always still check the list manually in your gameplay options anyway. The next sin is downloading other people's mod folders on YouTube and the like. You're now risking your save on whether the other person had their mods up to date, and unless the video you're getting it from is less than a month old, there's a good chance that some of the mods have broken since the person uploaded it anyway. We see both of these issues a lot on our discords, and basically what I'm saying is, just don't do it. Another big issue is when players have OneDrive set to sync their documents folder. OneDrive is cloud software, like Dropbox, and your mods folder gets picked up as part of this and frequently leads to broken mods you removed getting put back in by OneDrive when it syncs. This makes troubleshooting virtually impossible and in general my suggestion is that you always exclude your TS4 directory from OneDrive or better yet, just disable OneDrive entirely. The final sin is a big one. Please, do, do not create folders called mods or variants of mods inside of your mods folder. It should speak for itself how this is an organizational nightmare and you're basically begging to break your game. Last but not least, you need to make sure your mods are actually enabled in game options. There's two different check marks for mods and script mods, so make sure both are on to save yourself some headaches. Mods get turned off again after each major patch, so after updating your mods, remember to turn these options on again. There you go. This should help you get organized, but to help even farther, I've included a link to an empty, <laughs> empty mods folder with all of your structure already set up for you. You just need to add a creator folder in each as needed and stick with the organization as you install new mods. I hope this has helped and adequately explained the importance of organization. As always, you can stay up to date with all my mods on twistedmexi.com. And if you have any questions or need help with getting your mods folder organized, there is a Discord link on twistedmexi.com as well, where you're more than welcome to pop in and ask for some help. All right, thanks everyone, and I hope you have a good day.